Welcome to Speaker Lab Tutorial. This tutorial shows you the measurement and report generation procedure with Speaker Lab Power Test Analyzer. When we launch software, it appears the main control menu. For the first execution, we need to configure system and then initialize hardware and microphone calibration. These are completely automatic. Then we are ready to acquire data. When control box appears, the power button flashes indicate we need to press it to start measurement. In the box 1, we can set the device under test name. Select a saved operator name. Or write here, a new name. For completely open and manual settings, select a custom standard. Default standards with automatic routines are ANSI-IA 426B, IEC 268.5, DIN 45573, T2, AES 2, 1984, Revision 2003 and Revision 2012. Max AES. Power. Automatic. If we want to save a custom pattern, select Save this configuration. And type new name to recall configuration in the future. Next time we can find new procedure here. For this test, we select Custom. In the box 2, we can set Test duration. Minimum test duration is 10 seconds. We can digit any number in time position and it is auto converted in the time format. For voice coil, we can select different voice coil wire materials. We can select internal or external signal source or enable internal noise with external source input. This is useful to apply noise, generated by Speaker Lab, and processed by an external DSP. Application time is Continuous Duty cycle Duty cycle with ramp Now, we select Continuous Test Excluding Thermal time constants Wait until the sequence Complete all settings and measurements of the input signal in the crest factor analysis box. We can modify the dynamic range of input signal. Dynamic range is proportional to internal generator bit number. But it depends also by DSP, filters, and power amplifier. For example, if we need 6 decibels crest factor, we can select 1 bit and then adjust limiter to fine tune crest factor. In the lower graph, there is real time crest factor measurement. With instantaneous peak hold. In the upper graph, we can see peak and RMS voltage. With limiter, we can also modify dynamic range of any external input signals. Power Amplifier Gain Analysis Analyze and Register the Gain of Power Amplifier. In the box 6, we can enable Minimum Impedance Control, in order to allow average power measurement, on minimum impedance. We can also modify and force voice coil resistance, and its temperature, this is useful in case the device has different temperature compared to environment. For example, when loudspeaker is hot, for a test previously performed. Or is cold, because the test chamber has a higher temperature, compared to external environment and loudspeaker was not preconditioned. Speaker Lab advise this condition and suggest forcing manual values. We can use original re and re temperature measured with Speaker Lab in another session, or measure these values with other instruments. Volume control. 
permits to set amplifier gain, to desired voltage or power. Power is calculated on resistance, if we enable minimum impedance, power is calculated on minimum impedance value. In the limits box we can select maximum limits on voice coil temperature, voice coil resistance, or magnet temperature. When the measure reaches one of these limits, the test automatically stops, and all the data are saved. Now in this case we skip limits. Starting measurement we can see all real time graphs. We can reduce or resize the screen. Moving the mouse up speaker lab logo inside the relative graph, we can call instantaneous display of values. All graphs are auto scales on Y axis, but it is possible to modify Y range, editing extreme values. To restore auto scale of a graph, move the mouse on the relative speaker lab logo. Crest factor is measured directly to the loudspeaker terminals, so is the real value of applied signal. Moving the mouse up speaker, in the top bar, we can call control box. Control box disappears after some seconds if mouse is not moving on. With control box we can modify applied power. We can mute signal. We can change sampling time. We can also enable a web manager, permitting remote connections from multiple locations, both intranet and internet. Visualize environmental data and timing information. Speaker Lab Power Test Analyzer software acts as a web server and web manager permits to see remote measurements in a web browser. In the same computer, we can type localhost with 8000 port calling speakerlab.html page. In remote computers, instead localhost replace with the IP address of machine. In this case, 47 is the machine number, where the software is running. Next time, we will see, how to analyze and present, the saved data. Thank you for attention.